Hi, BFC CPS fourth grade. Well, you have asked, and who am I to not answer? We are changing conversations by the campfire, which was a cute theme. You have to admit it was a cute, a cute theme. Um, we're changing that too, paraphrasing with pugs, because the pug thing is overwhelmingly popular. So we're going to learn about writing still, and we're still going to be talking about information writing. But um, we are going to, I'm changing the whole theme to pugs. And I found a wonderful book on Epic because this week we're talking about topic development because there's a million different books you can find and write about pugs, a ton. And you could change, you could write about different types of pugs. You could talk about, you could split your chapters up into care and feeding of pugs. You can split your chapters up into young pugs, middle-aged pugs, and old pugs. Tons of different ways you can split it up. I think this one is a really fun book because what they've done, it's written by National Geographic Kids and they're comparing piglets versus pugs. So hopefully let me switch, the, change the page. Now, um, it's, it's like a battle. You're in for a rough rumble, pig. This battle will be anything but boring. And they've done a little play on words there because a boar is like a pig, right? You get it? Funny. Um, and they've got a wonderful table of contents here with an introduction, meet the contenders, and then they're going to go through um, all the different ways for piglets versus pugs. Now this author, because the the intention of the author's purpose of this is to inform, but because the author's purpose is to inform um, children, they're going to try to entertain you while they inform. So look, they've thrown in a um, a cartoon type page, and not every page is like this, but this looks like the graphic novels that we like, and that's a really smart writing move that um, that this author did. Really smart writing move right here. Now we are going to meet the contenders, the piglet versus the pug. And you see how they've got it set up, kind of an interesting background, right? And then our pugs and our piglets and our pictures. Now they're going to compare the wildest at heart, most likely to tip the scales, which is interesting because both of them, not going to lie, can tend to be a little chunky. Um, and they'll go through. And there's a lot of wonderful things to read about. The way that this author decided to develop this topic is going to teach you about piglets as well as pugs in a very interesting way. And that is an important part of information writing. Hi, Frank. How should we split up our information writing for today. What do you think? I really like the way they did the piglets versus pugs. Hey Frank, I'm talking to you. What do you think, Finn? He doesn't know what to think. Frankie, come here, buddy. I'm talking to you. Frankie, this is your moment to shine, bud. <laughs> I did want to show you guys this book. Um, this does not have as much writing in it as we would see, um, but this is more for younger children, this book, um, with really pretty pictures. Um, but as we go through, one of the things I thought that the author added that was really neat is they added a picture glossary. So for a younger reader, they gave some really nice labels to this picture here, wrinkles, tail, coat, and ear, um, which is very, and paw, which is very appropriate for their reader. And they gave a picture glossary for younger readers, which is a wonderful um, writing move that this author chose to do. final look at um, an example of information writing about pugs. We're going to look at these pug facts for kids um, and the way that they have it split up I think is a little bit different. Um, they tell you about the pug um, and they give you a description, coat and color. Um, I really like these headers that they have here. 
um, to really show exactly um, what they're talking about. And on th for this resource, you can click on anything that is blue and it will take you to um, more information about that subject. So let's say they're talking about um, the pug's origin came from China. Well, then you can click on China and it will bring you to um, to learn some more about um, China. Uh, and then you can just click back and go right back. It's got the history of pugs, the 16th and 17th centuries and the 18th and 19th centuries. And then an interesting thing about pugs is they do have health problems. And so this article has chosen um, to devote a, a pretty serious amount of time to health problems. Pugs are also very, very popular as we've seen. And um, this article shows us about media and culture and some of their popularity.